when you come to the monastery. It's time to put aside all your concerns with the world outside. You found physical seclusion, got a spot under the tree where you can sit and do walking meditation all by yourself. You don't have to engage with any human beings. But you find there's not necessarily mental seclusion. Buddha says we go around with our cravings as our companions. So we have to let those companions go for the time being. Thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future. If you have any desires, focus them on getting the mind settled down right here, right now, and simply being aware right here, right now. Noticing the breath, noticing how the mind stays with the breath or doesn't stay with the breath, and taking that as the point of interest. This is something you want to figure out. Why is it that the breath can be there all the time, but the mind has so much trouble staying with it? Look into that. You'll learn a lot of interesting things about the mind as you do. Now, as you leave the monastery, you can't take the monastery with you. You can't take this physical seclusion with you, but you can learn how to exert some control over those companions in your mind. That's part of the skill you've learned here. You are taking skills back with you. The breath is always there in the midst of the city, wherever you are. The breath energy is filling the body all the time. And even though you can't give it your full attention, at the very least make sure that there's part of the mind that's grounded there. Some people say, that's just giving me too many things to think about all at once, as if you already have enough balls to juggle. And they ask to juggle one more. But think of it more as the place where you stay as you juggle the other balls in your life. You've got a good solid place right here. As you're driving, it's not the case that you ordinarily drive and have your mind totally focused just on the driving. It can wander off someplace else, and you can still drive. Well, take that part that's wandering off and apply it to the breath. So they're fully grounded right here, because wherever you go, the breath is always right here. In fact, it's part of what defines right here. So remember, you have skills to deal with the breath that you picked up while you've been here at the monastery. And as long as you're planning to stay here, you can work on those skills, because you know you'll need them wherever you go. That way you can have the mental seclusion that really is important. Years back, I remember, we had someone visit the monastery in Riong, saying that it's been possible to get into the first jhana unless you're really quiet and really alone, because the Buddha said you're secluded. Well, you're secluded from unskillful qualities in your own mind. And you can do that whether there's physical seclusion or not. So it is possible to gain some concentration even in the midst of a big city, and to hold that as your main perception as you go through the day. That way there's not so much of a contrast between being here and being there. Simply here, you have more time to devote full attention to this. But then when you're not here, you can take whatever skills you've learned and still use them. The skills of meditation are not meant just for a meditation cushion. You don't put them away the same way you'd put your cushion away at the end of the meditation. Keep them with the breath wherever you go.